Take me on a trip, I wanna go someday. Take me to New York, I want to see LA. I really want to come get it with you. You be my American girl, American girl. Y'all, if y'all know that song, type it in the comments. I might send you a dollar. But what's going on YouTube is your boy OG TMA and me, aka the main event. And today we got Lil Yachty is fed up with the disrespect. Man, by the boy Hello Yasmin Extras. Man, it's been a minute since I reacted to your videos. Hold up, y'all. I'm tech I'm I'm handling some business. But um, anyways, if you meet you to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Without it being said, let's get straight to the video. What's poppin', y'all? Lil okay. Yachty's getting tired of the disrespect mm -hmm. people are putting on his name as of late. I just did a song recently with this guy, Ian, who's one of the new, I would say one of the newest, hotter rappers that comes out of the SoundCloud sound scene. I wouldn't mm -hmm. say he came out of SoundCloud necessarily, but this guy's been going up as of late. Yachty did a song with him and people decided to make some comments on Yachty. I wouldn't say they went in on him because of one of the bars he dropped on the song. And one of the bars that he dropped on the song was, no, I'm richer than your favorite rapper. If not, then God kill my mama. And someone quotes it or posts it and says, what possessed him to put this on his mom? Skull emoji. I wouldn't see the first First thing that app that goes on in my brain is wow this is an excellent engagement baiting post is this a promotional post now i did post this on my ig i can tell you that i just posted it just to post it because it's a really good post regardless so i wasn't paid to post this but my brain thinks this is something that's worth paying for because a lot of people are going to pay attention to this song and in turn pay attention to ian the song was on lyrical lemonade the guy needs more eyes on him it's not that he's struggling but he's in the phase where he needs to keep growing his fan base this is a song with Lil Yachty so it makes sense to invest in marketing and promotion for it so someone replies and says damn he willingly jumped on that crack both feet and they're comparing net worths of Lil Yachty and someone put Kendrick Lamar they're putting people's favorite rapper at wow really come on now don't don't be that petty just because he just because you know like on some real shit Y'all gotta give credit where credit is due. Yachty is a, a good fucking rapper. I'll give it to him. Like, uh, like no bullshit. Lil Yachty is a good fucking rapper. Y'all y'all doing entirely too much to gain at, man. Entirely too much. Oh, my God. 90 million, which is what Google says. And Playboy Cardi's net worth at 20 million, which is what Google says. And then Lil Yachty at 8 million which is also what Google says. And Lil Yachty replies to this and says, I made 8 million in my first eight months of rapping in 2016 on God. I would not be surprised because if you guys remember years ago, Lil Yachty was talking about having made $13 million in a year. And for a lot of rappers, their first year or two, especially when they've got a hit or multiple hits or a hot streak, you gotta think, Lil Yachty didn't only have the couple of hit songs that he had, like Minnesota, uh, what's the other one? one one night he was also on broccoli which was a smash hit that song's got more streams than i can even think of so that that was broccoli that's probably got almost a billion streams and you got to think this is some this is pre-streaming era this is in the transitionary period and he was also on i spy with kyle which was a smash so yachty was on some gigantic songs at that time he was doing show after show he had a sprite deal he was kid friendly he had a nautica deal I think so his first eight months I would not be surprised if he made eight million dollars I wouldn't be surprised if he got a fat record deal too which is probably maybe half of that eight million granted what happened after I don't know but regardless even if Yachty made eight million that doesn't change the lyrics of the song which is made more than your favorite rapper he did not make more than most people's favorite rapper now if their favorite rappers like he yeah of course Lil Yachty made more than him he's just been in the game more than him. guys been in the game for eight years which we gotta put respect on his name for not oh, many people actually maybe nine years 
Lil Yachty. I think I remember something from Lil Yachty in 2015. Towards the end of 2015, though. But we gotta put respect on Yachty. He's been in the game for almost a decade. Not many people expected this. Joe Budden definitely didn't expect this. Especially for him to still be putting in work. Especially people loved his last album. Now, I wasn't one of those people that loved it, but people did. And that's an important note to make when it was far different from a lot of the other music. And he's developed his music, too. The guy really learned how to rap in a completely different style. He dropped that Psychedelic album. That's a completely different style. Yeah, like, the nigga switched up his whole flow, literally. In the middle of the park, up like, like that, that, this man, this man, like, really, he really did that shit, though, like. Y'all really gotta put respect on y'all damn. Like on some on some real shit. Y'all is just one of them. Especially one of the songs, um, Coffin. That I don't care what y'all say, one of the greatest. You can to the keys gotta cool out. Gotta cause I do not pull out. Walk in the spot fit the deep with the tool out. They know that Man. I Man, y'all better be lucky I can't remember the lyrics. All too, but Yachty's done a lot. We gotta put some respect on his name. With that being said, there is also the controversy that came with his concrete team, record label, whatever you want to call it, with this girl, Caribou. So Caribou is reportedly no longer part of the label. I posted this on my IG. You should all be following me at Hello You Seen. Who else would you follow on Instagram? Just keep it real. Your family and me. That's it. That's all we need. And maybe close friends. I may let that slide. But she allegedly left them. She unfollowed Lil Yachty, Draft Day, and some guy named Camo, who I have no idea who that is. I remember Draft Day because the only reason I remember Draft Day is Lil Yachty announced somewhere, yo, I'm signing my first artist after the sailing team, this guy Draft Day. And then he had a song, and then I don't remember anything else after that. And then she uh, was removed from the IG bio for Concrete Boys. Lil Yachty responds somewhat to this situation, saying in tw on Twitter, y'all be letting this internet guy gel. In real life, stuff is different, I'm telling you. He didn't confirm or deny it. I think we know the reason. No, it's not we know the reason why. We know or should know that she left and she's no longer with them. But I think it's the reason why that people are assuming and Yachty is saying, oh, that's not why. Some of the reasons why is she felt like she wasn't getting pushed hard enough, which we need to talk about this. Is it that she's not being pushed hard enough or is it that she's not sticking? These are two completely mm. different. Come with me to rate this guy's back. That is true. That is true. Uh. Yeah, we not different things. In my belief, Lil Yachty has done anything and everything to put this caribou girl in front of everybody's face. I've seen her multiple times. Uh, number one, the first time I seen her, she was in some car, I think, and then she turns around and like sticks her butt in the camera. But I think this is an old video that she didn't want surfacing and people surfaced it. So this was the first time I had seen her. And then another time I've seen her when they were putting rumors about them dating. And then I seen her when they put up a freestyle. And then I seen her when they were doing like this concrete boys thing with Kai Sinat. And that's just me who's really not plugged in to what's ancillary to Lil Yachty like many other people. So if she's consistently being put in front of people, yet she's not going up, she's just not sticking. Maybe that's her fault, but I don't think that's Yachty's fault or the team's fault. They're doing as much as they can. She needs to do more, whether it's to be put in front of a different audience because she's not sticking in front of the audiences that she's currently being put in front of, or she needs to get better. And perhaps she needs to do more on her own because I haven't seen her get talked about viral or somewhat viral, right? At least within our niche for doing something completely on her own, independent of Yachty or anybody else associated with concrete. Now, I don't know the reason why she left, there could be a multitude of different reasons. We probably won't ever really know unless she does an interview and then both sides start talking about it. But that's all I've got to say on that specific topic. We've got another one, which is Kai Sinat talks about him leaking or playing the Drake song. And we have to make a correction. In the previous video, I talked about, hey, Drake potentially leaked this to Kai Sinat. I didn't say that's what he did, but I'm saying that's possibly what happened. And it would be a teaser or a tester for whether or not this song was good enough to release. The song did not publicly release and we've come to find out from let me just play the clip of Kai Sinat first when he's in the U-Haul here's the thing about clips bro the clips doesn't explain the full story so dumbass idiot see sh and just and run with it right so when Yachty sent me the track with him and Drake on it they was 
coming at Drake as if and saying that he sent me it. Like he sent me it to play it. Like, you feel me? Then on top of that, they was on my ass for me, like the way I was reacting because I was yelling because I didn't know that Drake was on the track. Word to my mother, Yachty sent it to me live. I asked him live, can I leak the whole thing? He said, yeah, fuck it. I played it. I didn't even know Drake was on the track. You know what I could have did with that? I could have, I could have took the, I could have took the unreleased and ran up a milli with that motherfucker, bro. That's why I reacted the way I did. Cause I had an unreleased Drake tag. Nigga, my, my family would have. So Kai Sinat says that Yachty sent it to him and then he had no idea Drake was on it. So we got to take away that Drake maybe is the one that sent it, okay? Hey, maybe he sent it to Yachty and then Yachty sent it to Kai, but I'm not going to do that whole like back and forth thing. My assumption was incorrect. I never said that's what happened. So we have to make that clear. However, the sentiment is still there, which is they're teasing tracks to see if people mess with it and then they'll drop it or not. Now, Yachty doesn't do this as much as Drake. So I can't come at Yachty and be like, yo, why are you teasing tracks to see if people mess with it? Dude, Yachty dropped a whole, like, that psychedelic album. Nobody knew what that was going to sound like. And people received it well. So Yachty's got the, the, ch the chest, is that the word? Yachty's got the fire inside him and the belief in himself. And if he wanted to drop something, I don't think he'd be looking for whether or not people thought it was hot or not. I think he would just drop it. What I'm surprised with is a Yachty song that doesn't start off with Yachty. Like, this song starts off with Drake. That's kind of odd. We haven't really got something like that since Look Alive, a song that went big. And this song is still not out. So I think Kai just had to address the situation because maybe like people, Kendrick stands, probably because of Kendrick stands, let's be honest. So we gotta loosen up on Drake for that one. Pause on that. But regardless, my opinion on the song still stands. It still is now. I don't think, if that is a Yachty song, that does not feel like a Yachty song because I said Yachty would be, that song would be better with Yachty not on it. So that's what I've got to say about that situation. But this is all good for Lil Yachty. He's in the mix. He's being talked about. Sure, it's probably less ideal than he would like because he can't fight internet narratives. And that's the problem with being a rapper. You sometimes just have to deal with these and wait for them to pass. And you look like the villain. But I'm interested to see what he's going to release next. And anticipation is not something that I've really had with Yachty in a very, very long time. After that last album... It really made me think, okay, where is this guy going now? And whether or not I like it, it's got me intrigued, paying attention, and it. Type shit. <clears throat> Thank you asking me for that video. No cap. But on some real shit, get, give you out of his respect. Like, like y'all, I'm not saying, let's read these comments, my bad. I'm not saying Yachty is complete he garbage, but how he managed to stay afloat with such mediocre music is beyond me. Yachty managed to solidify himself in any other avenues which allow him to experiment without the need of being musically insane. Okay. Yeah. Where is Caribou is the name of the album. It's just it's marketing. She's still concrete, I guess. Conspiracy theory. Caribou is le leaving as a market scheme to get us to talk about her more and who she even is in the first place because now we're looking back trying to figure out who she was this might be a genius chess play might kendrick is my favorite rapper for take Heidi's mom at all that's crazy oh god every my hair cost and screaming i lose brain cells he sucks y'all dick riding some real shit um anyways that's the end of the video make sure you like come subscribe on the road to 10k at 2300 i will drop long vlogs yeah just keep me keep running me up and what i mean said it's your boy oj and they signing out